Have you heard about twist? Have you heard of left hand, right hand twist? This is a great one. One day if you get on to grad school or somebody challenges you in the thread world, they say, is your thread a left hand twist or a right hand twist? <laughs> Nobody's ever been asked that? Ricky, will you get my towel and the measure, please? This is a great one because sometimes people try to stump me. And they'll come up, well, what happens is there's a couple thread companies out there saying, our, not ours, but their thread is better because it has the opposite twist on it. Theirs is a left-hand twist, and everything else out in the market is a right-hand twist. Talk about confusing the market. Well, they'll come up to me and say, Bob, is your thread a left-hand twist or right-hand twist? When they say that, I know they're challenging me because, first of all, those are bad terms. They're not really accurate. So I look at them and say, you ready for this? Remember the plies? You got, you got plies that twisted together? I say, are you talking about the primary twist or the secondary twist? <laughs> And they just kind of put their head down and walk away. <laughs> because when you make thread, we have the substrands. We got the three plies or the two plies. Well, they're twisted in one way, and then it's the opposite twist to time together. Oh. Left hand twist and right hand twist are not good terms. The factory terms are S twist, Z twist. And if you look at it, how they're twisted, they either go this way or they go that way, S or Z. This is what twist does to thread. All thread made for machine use, there's a tape up here, you got it? All thread in the world made for machine use is a final, which means a secondary, a final Z twist. It doesn't matter what other thread companies say. It doesn't matter if they say their thread is better because it has the opposite twist. They are wrong. It has to have a final Z twist. So when we twist thread, we have multiple filaments here of, of our polyester and we twist it together. Does twist mean anything in the quality of thread? Yes. What does a tighter twist do to a thread? It makes it smoother. A looser twist is going to unravel easier and get snagged easier. Why would one company put a nice tight twist on a thread, but another company put a loose twist on a thread? Cheaper. Here's why. We're going to measure this. Uh -huh. This is what we start with in the length of thread. Okay, we start at 60. Now watch what happens as we twist. We're going to twist. Okay, measure it again. We just lost length of, of thread, right? 56. So we went from 60 to 56, 4 inches. Okay, twist again. This is where some companies stop. They stopped at the 56 or they stopped at the 51. Because they say, okay, the twist is adequate, let's not shorten it because otherwise it's, I have to start with this much to end up with this much. I'd rather start with this much and end up with that much. Now we're going to put the maximum possible twist on before it starts to crinkle on itself. Okay, now look how smooth that is. There's no fluff. It's not going to snag. Very, very smooth. Okay, now let's measure it. We were at 51. Hopefully, it, okay, there we go. We are at 44. That's what a finely twisted thread means. You have more raw material into the thread, but you're going to end up with a shorter. So yeah, it costs a lot more to put a tighter twist on it. A piece of information that will never be on the label is how many twists per meter, and that's how it's measured. Twists per meter. When we import thread, our wonderful Homeland Security, which now handles customs and duty and assess duties on, on threads, they want to know how many twists per meter we have. And the higher the amount of twist, the higher the duty because it's a better quality thread. Well, a cheap, cheap thread may have two or three hundred twists per meter. Our so fine thread, over a thousand. Which means we started with that much, and we ended up with that much. But because there's a, over a thousand twists per meter, it is such a finely, nicely, evenly twisted thread, that's why it's a fantastic thread. It runs very, very smooth. So twist per meter, the type of twist and the twist per meter really does play a role in how good that thread quality is.